So we're getting to problem 17, just as Game of Thrones sounds like it's getting really exciting. So if you hear some yelling, I guess there's something interesting going on upstairs. Um, so we're going to do this problem, maybe not as interesting as some battle in Game of Thrones, but it gets us done with our practice test, which is pretty exciting. A ball is dropped from a height of 16 feet. So you're going to drop the ball. Each time it strikes the ground, it bounces up to three quarters of the previous height. Okay, so our initial uh, height of 16 feet is not A1, because that's not our first drop, it's not our first bounce. So A of zero is 16, and what we're saying is that it's going to ba uh, bounce up to three quarters of its previous height. Um, so three quarters would be multiplied by the 16, which makes this a geometric series because we're multiplying over and over again. So if I do 16th times 3 fourths in my calculator, I get that A of 1 is 12 because that's the height after the first bounce. Um, so what are we given? We were given R's 3 fourths, we were given A of 0 is 16, and we can use that to find A of 1. So then the question is, what height will the ball bounce up to after it strikes the ground for the third time? So what we could do is we could just make ourselves a little chart here that A of 0 is 16, A of 1 is 12, A of 2, A of 3, plug this into our calculator repeatedly and get that A of 3 is 6.75. Alternatively, what we could do is use our equation. So A of n equals 12, because we're using A of 1, uh, 3 fourths, which is our n, to the power of 3 minus 1, and plugging that into our calculator, we get that A of 3, uh, the height after the third bounce, is 6.75 feet. Five feet. Okay, so then the next piece is asking us how many times does the ball need to strike the ground before its bounce is less than 6 inches. So we can say A of N is less than 6. Uh, we saw how that table was helpful in the last part. Uh, we could continue to do a table here, um, but that could get tedious because we don't know how long that's going to be. Um, the other thing that we need to be careful about is that this A of N is less than 6 inches, and we've been previously using the unit of feet, so this would really need to be 0.5 feet here. Um, so we could write an equation that 0.5 would be less than or equal to 12 times 3 fourths to the power of n minus 1. Um, trying to get n minus 1 alone would require logarithms. Um, so what would actually be the most helpful is in our calculator do y of 1 equals 12 times 3 fourths to the x minus 1. And then if we do second graph, we can use the table that that results until we find that y is less than 0.5, which we would find is the 13th bounce. Unfortunately, um, you might not feel comfortable doing that in your calculator using your table. So what you could do is we could do this 0.5 is equal to 12 times 3 to the 4th uh, to the n minus 1. So then we could do 0.5 over 12 equals 3 to the 4th, 3 fourths to the n minus 1 power. So then we can write our logarithm, log base 3 fourths of 0.5 over 12 equals n minus 1. So that our calculator can handle this, we would do change a base formula. So the log of 0.5 over 12 over the log of 3 fourths plus 1 equals n. And if we do that, we're still going to get the 13th bounce. Um, so basically, 13th bounce is our answer, no matter how you go about looking at it. And then the last part of this question is asking us what total distance has the ball traveled before it start, stops it bouncing. So we want to find the sum of our infinite series here. So the sum of an infinite series is S equals A1 over 1 minus R. We know A1 is 12. 
we know that R is 3 quarters. We plug that into our calculator and the total amount of distance that the ball has traveled is 48 feet.